What do you need with an old space hound like me? Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. Good idea. When we ran into something like this before, we were able to stop the spores from reproducing by bombarding them with tachyons. We have the equipment here to replicate that procedure. Some missions in Star Trek Online will change based on your career track, engineering, science, or tactical. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. We didn't know what to believe, but I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them, and it could happen again. That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down, but the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. for the big festival? Working hard? Or maybe you have time to listen to a story or two? Hmm? Really? 
That sounds like a new story in the making. The mystery of the Kellids, or perhaps the Kellid conundrum. I'll have to think about it. We should talk more about it during the festival. Do you want to hear a story or two? Almost 2,000 years ago, our people were Vulcans. At that time, Vulcan was a world of war, with constant struggles between the tribes. Serac changed that. He taught that peace came through logic. And if you ask me, not all Vulcans get that right. Serac said that people should master their emotions, not eliminate them. But not everyone on Vulcan wanted to give up love, or passion, or even anger. The Vulcan said, these people marched beneath the raptor's wings. Instead of fighting their own people, these Vulcans decided to leave in an event we call the Sundering. They boarded great colony ships and set out into unexplored space, looking for a home where they could live and feel as they wished. Eventually, those who marched beneath the raptor's wings found Romulus and Remus. They created an empire. Although we share a genetic bond with the Vulcans, we are our own people. Never forget that. Want to hear another story? The destruction of Romulus was a terrible thing. When we lost our home and our loved ones, we lost our soul. The people who survived were scattered and leaderless. Survival was a daily struggle. There were some fights for control before Empress Sela took over, but I never paid much attention. That Taurus woman was never going to get far. Now Sela and the Tal Shiar are attempting to rebuild the strength of the Romulan Star Empire, but they do so with fear and oppression. Steer clear of them if you can. People like us should just try to stay out of the Tal Shiar's way. Life is more important than politics or power. There are a lot of Romulans who just wander from planet to planet because there's no place to call home anymore. We're lucky to have Viranat. This is a good place. A place to put down roots. Without that, we're just dust scattered by the winds of fate. Do you want to hear another story? Viranat was a colony world. It used to be a big agricultural planet, growing food for the Empire. After Romulus was destroyed, thousands upon thousands of people flooded the planet. The old cities couldn't hold them all, and they were scared. They started fighting amongst themselves. One night, the cities burned. Most of the survivors left. A few hung on, scrapping old ships and using them as building materials. That's how the Maori found them, about ten years ago. The Maori was the commander of an old warbird. Navala was his first officer, and Devex the chief engineer. They were wandering the sector, trying to find a new home. When they found Viranat, they decided to stay. Devex kept the old warbird functional, and he used it to make supply runs and bring back other Romulans who needed a home. Navala put herself in charge of security, and the Maori, he runs the whole colony now. Devex met Tovan Kev in a mining colony a few years back. I think it was uh, four years ago. But then again, I didn't come here until two years ago, so this is not just information I've heard about secondhand. I actually have a question for you, if you don't want to hear another story first. When did you arrive here? I know we only have a few hundred people living here, but so many come and go that it's hard to keep track. I I'm recording the stories of all the people that live here, you see. And I would love to start yours off with your arrival. Who knows? It could be something that becomes historical in a few years. Oh! <gasps> 
One of the few that saw the Maori as a captain. We should definitely talk more about this over drinks tonight. I think I've kept you for too long. See you later. Hey there. Long day? I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tall Shi'ar. Word is, someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the Tappy. The Kellet Nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, our colony has taken time and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled we have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. Shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Borian to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. to do 
something. I tried to send a distress signal, but they damaged our transceiver array. We still have a chance, though. We need to deal with some of the tall Shi'ar, and then get a replacement battery. as many people aboard as we'll fit. We have to go. 